while we lost the 60 kilowatt hour version of Model S, the 75 kilowatt hour version of both Model S and Model X just picked up some upgrades. I've got those details and more in your Tesla tidbits for April 18th, 2017. Today was the day that the Model S 60 left us, but that doesn't mean it was bad news. Electrek was first out of the gate today with a ton of information on updates to Model S and Model X. The Model S 75 got a significant price drop, down $5,000 to $69,500 as a base price. Even the Model S 90 got a small drop, down $2,000. In addition, the options lineup has changed as well. The metal body roof is now no longer a possibility on the Model S. The all-glass roof, previously an option, is now the standard. In addition, the power lift gate, once a part of the premium upgrades package, is now a standard feature as well. On the flip side, you can no longer order smart air suspension with the 75, and the higher amperage charger is no longer available on any other model but the Model S100, where it is now automatically included. But the news doesn't end there. Tesla is taking care of the folks already owning the software locked Model S and Model X 60s. The Model S 60 owners can unlock the full 75 kilowatt hour capacity for just $2,000 now, a post sale cost that was previously $7,000. Those with 70 kilowatt hour software lock cars can pick up that extra 5 kilowatt hours for just $500 now, down from $3,500 before. Model X isn't left out here either, as the software unlock drops from 9500 to 6500 on the Model X. Not the same drastic drop from the Model S, but definitely an incentive to take another look. Speaking of the Model X, it got a few morsels thrown its way as well, in addition to the matte seatbacks reported on yesterday. Model X owners now have a new wheel option, the Sonic Carbon. It gives owners an option to own a dark-colored wheel without having to concede 22-inch wheels. They look identical to the standard wheels that come on the vehicle, save for the color, and they carry a $3,000 premium. The other update for Model X is an option for the six-seat configuration to add a center console for the second row. The color is matched to your interior and is only available on black or white interiors. In addition to the extra storage and cup holders, they've routed vents to the structure and it will provide rear heating and AC. It's not all good news for everyone, though. Tesla did warn that the 100 variants of both vehicles will be seeing a price increase. The base price for all variants of the 100 vehicles will see a significant increase. Tesla sent a statement to Electrek touching on all of this, saying, quote, Periodically, we have adjusted pricing and available options to best reflect the value of our products and our customers' preferences. Today's updates include slight price decreases to our 75, 75D, and 90D models to account for the discontinuation of our 60 kilowatt hour models, and next week we will be implementing slight price increases to our higher end 100D and P100D models. We expect our total average selling price to remain almost exactly the same. Price increases for our 100D and P100D models will take effect on April 24, 2017 to best accommodate customers already in the order process, while price decreases for 75, 75D, and 90D models will take effect today, end quote. Overall, good news abounding, but if you're on that fence for a 100, you should probably get that order placed before the price heads north. Lastly today, Tesla Rati reports that ambulances and hazmat crews were on the scene at Gigafactory 1 today, but the story isn't as serious as it may sound. A chemical spill, which Tesla reported per safety protocols and an abundance of caution, was the cause of the excitement. The cause was a drum of construction-grade cleaning solvent, which had spilled on a dock at the factory. Nine workers reported upset stomachs after exposure to the chemical, and no other injuries have been reported. Production is expected to continue as normal. A Tesla spokesperson gave the following statement, quote, A drum of standard construction cleaning solvent was spilled at one of the Gigafactory loading docks this afternoon. Although this minor spill poses no threat to the public, per our safety protocols, we evacuated a small portion of the building and alerted the authorities. A cleanup crew is on site, and out of an abundance of caution, a couple of employees who may have been exposed are being transferred to the local hospital. There are no reports of serious injuries. We do not expect any impact to production, end quote. Hopefully everyone involved is back to good as soon as possible. You can find the links to today's full stories in the show description. This show operates on a value-for-value value model. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Many thanks to super patrons John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, Cookie UK, and John Waller for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. If you've got nothing extra to spare, no worries. 
Feel free to support the show with your positive feedback and subscriptions on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet. Lastly, if you're in the market for a Tesla, you can get yourself a thousand bucks off while supporting the show and super patron Drew Schuyler by using the referral link ts.la slash andrew1233. That's it for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.